What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys. I've got a different one for you today. It is of Mars, but something I don't usually talk about. I usually tell you guys I don't see anything to do with humans, any kind of animals, any of that sort. This one is a little different. Let me show you. All right, this is a gigapan done by Keith Laney. He did a superb job, on, and they're all basically NASA photos actually stitched together, right? Now, one of you subs had told me, hey, Chris, you need to check out 1450. When I was going over this, this particular pan, something stuck out for me, and I think you guys will find it interesting too. What I found was it looked like some kind of owl statue. Again, guys, I don't usually see these kind of things, right? But this thing stuck out so well that I was just like, whoa. Now, you won't find it in this bottom one here. You can see. What we're going to do is right here, just look at this pan at the top, and you can see where it narrows down right here and goes to the smaller. It's right in this area. Let's go ahead and get into that. As I'm going by and I'm looking at this thing, I'm like, okay. I'm looking at a lot of these so-called rocks. I say, okay, that's pretty interesting. Look at this. Look at the shape of this thing, right? Okay. Keep going. Look at this bright rock. All right, let's zoom in. What is that sitting right there? It looks to me like it's a freaking owl. The head, here's an eye. Another eye on the right-hand side. The beak, the chest feathers, and everything else right here. And you can see this line, look at this, right here. Coming down, going like this here. Might be the wings here. Got one of the ears. You can't see it over here. But check this out. What the hell is that? Let me show you guys that a little bit closer, too. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, too, is, like I said, just look at the rocks that are in these photos, right? Let me see if I can zoom in just a hair bit more. You notice how you have, like, a complete rock, and, you know, it could be part of the shale or whatever it is, but you see, like, this little piece of white. Don't always jump to the conclusion that these are simple rocks, okay? Um, how about this right here? It's almost like there's a steel panel right here, and you got, like, these rivets. One's in the corner, one here, and one here. See the line to it? This is what I also thought was fascinating. What is this in the bottom rock here, right there? What is that? That, to me, does not look natural. Uh, you can see other pieces down here, like whitish. has other little, you know, pieces on it there. Let's get into this real quick on the Photoshop photo. This is how big the photo was. Blow it up for you guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into the actual enhanced, fully enhanced. Right here. Okay. Now, to me, that looks like some kind of frame. Now, I could be wrong, guys. Check that out. Now, what I saw was, look like an eye right here. Another eye right there. What looks like the beak right there. Right? Got one of the ears. You've got what looks like the chest feathers. And you've got what looks like a wing. And you can see something on the very side of it on the other side. You know, a lot of people like to use that word pareidolia. I don't like using it. Is it possible it is a cluster of rocks together that looks like it just made to look like that? Or is it, in fact, some kind of uh, an actual owl statue? It wouldn't surprise me if it was. Now, notice on the ground here, guys, all in here, on the bottom of these blurred out spots, there's actually more detail than there actually appears to be. When you do this, you start to see a little bit more in there. And I don't really care about that so much. All I cared about was this what looks like an owl, and it really does look like an owl. And this other object down here in the bottom, which I found pretty interesting, was right here, bottom left. There's no way, guys, that's just normal rocks. Look at it. Let's go ahead and shop it up just a hair bit. See that? To me, that is not normal. That is not um, a natural rock or naturally occurring in nature. You get something right here. You can see, like, most of this is white. Let's go ahead and see if we can get into the black and white aspect of it. Okay. This right here, this, this whole area. You can see what looks like it's actually an opening, like it's raised off. Now, even if this is rock, I'm okay with that. See this right on each side, and it looks like it has, it looks like a doorway right there. You guys see that? Okay. But the stuff that's in here is something right there. Yeah, bring it way down, like I said. Got pieces over here. I mean, these, again, guys, these could be pots of stone. I'm okay with that. Try to bring whatever was out on this. Completely impossible to do. You can see where they fudged over this thing big time. Okay? So there's virtually no way to get around that. Okay? Go a little bit more. Do a little bit more shopping. And that's what we got. 
And there you go, guys. Pretty cool stuff, if, if you ask me. I've also got a, another video coming up that's similar to this, uh, but it seems more mechanical, so stay tuned for that. Another Mars video is coming back at you guys. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Are we looking at a statue type thing? Is it nothing more than just the rocks just happen to be placed just perfectly to make it look that way? To me, and you guys know, I never see things like this. I never see animal type thing. I never see little people. I never see any of that. But this stuck out for me. As usual, you guys be the judge. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what's up. And guys, like, please share the video. Always appreciated. You guys know that. And with that, I want to let you guys go. And I'll see you in the next one.